Christmas announced uh, that we want to set up like a, a, a Dutch business network again. So not sure how it looks like. And that we, we just take the year to see what appetite is and what people thinking of it. And uh, now during it, a couple of functions this year, uh, like a New Year's, uh, not New Year's Day, uh, Queen's Day, and the ambassador was over here. And um, so we had a bit of an idea for what people wanted. So the next step is, is the name. For, uh, for the Dutch Business Club, because that was a general outcome that people like to have some, some networks. Some, because so many Dutchies over here in West Australia, there's about 3,000 Dutchies here in West Australia only, and more than half a million in, in whole Australia. It's quite something. But we're very good at not being there around, so we, we just play somewhere and we don't, we know those Dutchies and we don't want to meet them again. I think for the business side of it, that, that Holland is now number one investor in West Australia, the Netherlands, direct foreign investors, and also the general investors. So that, that's, that's an amazing job and means also quite some exposure. And I think we could be clever to use our networks we have with uh, the Australian and Dutch community over here. So first thing is always having a good name. And we passed uh, some, some names through it. Of course, you have in, uh, in uh, Sydney, you have the Dutch Link, and you have um, Dutch, uh, Dutch, uh, Dutch SA in Adelaide, you have Melbourne, you have also Dutch Link. And, um, but we thought, all right, perhaps it's good to have a, a bit of a, a voting tonight. So at the front desk, there are little forms where we put some names and also an other. So if you think if a brilliant idea is that must be the name, please fill it out, put it in the box, and uh, the majority of folks wins. That means that we have a name for the Dutch Business Network or whatever the name is going to be. And that's the first stage, and then that means that we can have a domain name, and we can make a group on LinkedIn, and we start connecting the people together. Because that was a bit of the general outcome of uh, yeah, the, the discussions we had during the year, that we want something light, not really like old school chamber of commerce thing, but something yeah, modern, light, easy accessible, easy maintainable, uh, easy choice, but also having open discussions and things like, uh, yeah, there are competitors within the group. We know that, but how does it work? Yeah, so there's still no reason not to collaborate, not to share information, and together, you know, just more and be more effective. So please, if you have time, to, uh, fill out, tick, tick one of the boxes and put it in the, in the voting to make life easier. And we have a couple of persons who works uh, uh, with us to make it all, uh, all happening. Uh, Ariana, where, where are you? You see? She, uh, she helps out with uh, bringing the technology together for the website, for LinkedIn and all that kind of stuff. We have uh, Wilco, one of uh, the driver force from the beginning, from, uh, from Topwise. And also uh, Ben is uh, uh, filming <laughs> put everything on, on YouTube, it's scary. And it'll be on the website, it'll be on the website as well. On oh, the website as well, yeah, and the multimedia. So we have to set it up, and if it's set up, it should be easy maintainable, and we can have discussions uh, with each other and communicate with that. So that's going to be happening probably somewhere in, the, in January, I think, after my, uh, my annual leave. So, what do you have more? Um, yeah, that's a bit uh, about it. Um, one of the things is more for the program for next year, because in February, from the 21st to the 25th of February, there is an oil and gas um, um, trade mission from the Netherlands. So, uh, the, it's coming over to Perth for the whole week, so I will keep you informed about that. But also they combine it is on the 21st of February, see Nonya Peters over there from Perth, uh, uh, from, from but from anything to do with the relation between Australia and Holland. Because uh, the 21st is also the official handover of the MCOT treasuries. And that's the, the, the treasuries of the ships, shipwrecks from Dutch shipwrecks on the coast, uh, all those uh, artifacts went to the Netherlands, most of them went to the Netherlands, and they brought it back to Australia. And in November there was also like an official thing in Sydney to, to commemorate it, but it all ends up in the Maritime Museum here in the Inkeur. It was a very special moment. And it's going to be celebrated, and the ambassador will come out for that, more people from, from Canberra and Sydney. So it's going to be a great event, and uh, it also will be like a starting point for 2016, so five years program, it was 2016, then how many years, how many years did that uh, Dick Hartford? 400 years that Dick Hartford came uh, on Dick Hartford Island. 
and it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a very important moment because it, 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 it again commemorates the relationship that Holland has with, uh, with Australia, not only being number one investor in Western Australia, but 400 years to do something together. So, so it's time that we go on the map and become officially on world Yes, yeah. yeah. It's not only West Australian uh, uh, thing, but a real worldwide event. It's, it's amazing that it happens. Years before that, when because how do you get all those things from Netherlands back to Australia and what sort of precedence you have? It's very complex and very political, but I figured it out after many years and now it's in Australia. So I'll keep you posted. So I'll stop waffling now. I just want to uh, wish you all a great Christmas and a fantastic 2011. And if I had a wine, I would. Say cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs>